everybody welcome back to another renovation vlog ignore the state of me but it's currently like friday afternoon it's about five o'clock on friday and i am just about to have a look in the little bedroom louis said that there's some wallpaper in there and that i need to start peeling it off basically um but sorry if you can hear the dog chewing at his thing down there but we basically have a full weekend of house jobs planned we've got a lot to get through so it's gonna probably be quite a busy and intense weekend our plan is to empty the second bedroom which you've probably seen like snippets of if you've watched any of our previous renovation vlogs um i will show you in there but that room is basically where everything got piled when we moved pretty much everything that we own <laughs> is in that second bedroom and that's the last room that we've got left to pull up the carpet and take the ceiling tiles off but we can't obviously do that while the room's full so we basically need to completely empty that room but obviously then we've only got our bedroom and the little bedroom to empty all of that stuff into pull the carpets up get the ceiling tiles off have a proper clean i think louis possibly planning on um doing a little bit of like wiring as well because he's doing the plug socket so We've got like quite a lot to do and obviously because we're going to have to empty that room into our bedroom and the little bedroom, really we need to get it all done in a day so that we can then move the stuff back out of our bedroom into that room so that we can obviously like sleep in our bedroom. So that's the plan. Um, I will, I'll show you, I'll show you in the second bedroom now and show you what we're working with and it is literally i haven't touched this bedroom so it's really bad but that's how we live at the moment so i'm going to show you it as it is so this is what we're dealing with there's literally all of our washing still there i did say that <laughs> I hadn't done anything with this room and I really haven't. Um, I've got my dressing table here completely covered. This mirror is what I use like on a daily basis <laughs> to do my makeup. <laughs> it is bad in here. So this is what we're tackling. Obviously, it's just going to be a case of literally moving every single thing out of here underneath all of this stuff is our day bed but it's still dismantled we never actually put it up in this house so i think the plan is to obviously just restore a little bit of order take all of this out get the ceiling tiles off get the carpet up we've got an off cut of carpet in the garage just waiting to go down so we'll just do the same thing in here as what we've done in all of the other rooms and just have the floorboards and then a big like off cut of carpet that basically acts like a rug um and then i think this room i am planning on making this sort of into our dressing room it won't be anything special i'm not going to bother painting or anything we don't have we don't have the time we don't have the money we don't have the paint i don't have anything the color in here is absolutely fine so i think i'm gonna put the day bed up in here we might as well put that all back together um obviously we're still gonna have a lot of things to store in here so it's not gonna be a nice neat and tidy room we're still gonna have to use it as storage probably mainly but obviously things can be a lot more organized than they currently are so we'll probably have day bed up put these drawers somewhere um obviously have my dressing table sort all of that out we've got a wardrobe here which is currently empty we could fill that with some things um and then in this bedroom which is the little bedroom we've got our clothes actually on rails here so i'm thinking we can move these two rails 
into that room that can sort of be where all of our clothes and stuff are stored and then this room i would like to make into a little home office and just put my desk in here really because i'm sick of all of my work stuff just being on the dining table downstairs so this is only a little room obviously there's floorboards up louis been doing the plug socket so again i i think i will paint in here not this weekend um but i will i will plan on painting in here i think we need to sand the ceilings and i'll paint the ceiling and yeah just give it a lick of paint in here just to make it a little bit nicer until we do something more permanent but yeah i think this room will be perfect just for my desk basically that's probably all that will be in here and then again a little bit of storage this is a massive um sort of cupboard in here see if you can see that there's loads of space in here that we can be storing things so yeah we just need to have a big organize really because we're not utilizing the space that we've got as much as we should um oh my god look at that puppy oh, cute so yes louis told me to start taking i don't know whether you can see <laughs> these tiny little bits up here right at the top um they they are actually little bits of wallpaper so that's the job that louis has tasked me with before he gets in from work so i think i'll do that and i'll just scrape those bits off and i think i'll move the well um yeah i might move these rails out of here and into our bedroom for now and just sort of organize things a little bit because we'll probably put some of that stuff from the second bedroom in here we'll probably put some of this stuff into that room um as much as we can so that it's not impacting on our bedroom too much scraping if you can hear me properly but we have um we've had our plans back from the architect last week so that is progress and have been submitted for planning permission um because we are booked in with our builder to start our building work on the 1st of june which is really exciting but obviously that is it's actually the first of april from today so it's two months today and the planning permission process i think if all goes well takes eight weeks like it's an eight week process so we have been on at the architect because i knew that we needed our plans submitting by like to date the latest so they they went in last week so that's good um and then once the plans were drawn up by the architect we had our build around and sort of discussed everything um and he went away and did a quote for us so we've got the price for all of the work um which is pretty much what I was expecting it to be, to be honest. I would have liked for it to have been a little bit less, but who wouldn't? So, yeah, we're all booked in for building work to start on the 1st of June, which is really exciting. Um, so, I am, now that we've sort of got our plans, I am going to do a 
full sort of video dedicated to obviously our plans and I'll do I think a bit of a house tour at the same time even though if you've watched our videos previously you'll have got the gist of like the layout and everything of the house but I will do a bit of an updated house tour I'll probably I might do that next week maybe so that once we've organised the rooms that we're doing this weekend then the house might look a little bit more put together not that it can really look any better or worse than it is it just is what it is it's a renovation it's a mess but um yeah i will do a proper dedicated video and sort of try and explain exactly what it is that we're doing and obviously show you the plans there's still a couple of bits that need changing on the plan i do feel like i'm holding off sort of doing the, the full video until the plans are exact but that's probably not gonna happen until the extension started because we need to do all of the building regs ours is pretty much spot on like the plans that we've got the internal layout is right there's just a few tiny little tweaks that i'll make over the next few weeks yeah anyway that is where we're at at the moment that's what we've been waiting for for literally months for these plans to be done and to just sort of move forward a little bit with it roll on the first of june i'm so excited i hope that everything goes smoothly with the planning version because i know that some planning departments can just be awkward just for the sake of being awkward um which i really hope there won't be for us but there is quite a few houses in our estate that have done very similar things to what we're wanting to do um so i'm hopeful that there won't be any sort of major issues so we'll keep our fingers crossed and just wait and see So that's all the little bits of wallpaper off. It was just all the little stubborn bits of backing paper that needed taking off just right around. So, well, it wasn't actually right around. There was just a few patches. So it's only taken me 10 minutes. So that is all done. Um, and then I think maybe, maybe later on tonight or tomorrow, we'll just have a bit of a clean up in here i think louis needs to finish off whatever he's doing with the plug sockets and things um so that the floorboards can obviously be put back down there and then we've got just a nice clear empty room to start with i think louis was planning on sanding the ceiling this ceiling isn't great so there's sort of patches that are flaking off i don't really know what's best to do with it whether to try and like actually scrape sort of all of it off so it's just all gray like this um but we'll see we'll see what happens when we start sanding it i've moved our clothes in here for now um we've got quite a bit of space in here so this isn't too bad just having these rails in here for now um but oh my god look at this pile of washing as well does any does this happen in anybody else's house or is it just us because we're lazy but i just can't i can't keep on top of the washing during the week i physically can't so then i leave it all to a weekend and this is what happens but yeah that is the situation louis should be home any minute now um this is a job for another day i have also got the worst toothache literally ever it's never been this bad it's my wisdom tooth 
and they are both through on either side my wisdom teeth i have been for years but they just flare up every now and then um and i know that that is obviously common with wisdom teeth that's sort of how it works and they are painful um but this one is honestly another level of pain it's so painful i'm running out of paracetamol so i'm rationing my paracetamol and having like one every couple of hours but i think i'm gonna go and take some more now and possibly start doing the tea it's so nice how light it is now it doesn't fit at six o'clock and it could literally still be like two o'clock in the afternoon it's so light and it just makes you have that bit more energy to do stuff during the day doesn't it it's all cool granddad or dad or whoever starts giving you random tools just take them because you don't know when you're going to need them for example this sand here the granddad gives us this I thought what the hell am I going to do with this what do we know is looking loads better to be fair I've just got out of the shower I'm ready to have a sit down and a bit of a chill but yeah we'll pick this up in the morning and see how far we get tomorrow good morning everyone it's now Saturday morning I've had the worst night's sleep ever I've got really really bad um toothache on my wisdom tooth and it i've literally i've never felt pain like it i've been in agony all night so i was up at i woke up at one and got up went downstairs took some paracetamol i need to actually take my tablets um but yeah i took two paracetamol and then sort of waited for them to kick in and i did fall back asleep and then i woke up at four um and it was even worse so i just took another two paracetamol even though i think you're supposed to wait four hours in between like taking tablets um but I just took another two at four o'clock and then I just sat in bed and cried. <laughs> it was, the pain is so bad. Um, it's still bad today, but it, it sort of eases a little bit. Like during the day, I think when I'm talking and drinking and swallowing and eating and stuff, it sort of gets a little bit, not better, but I think I can just manage it a little bit better. But then during the night honestly it was unbearable i've never never felt pain like it so i've rang 
111 and um a lovely nurse like dental nurse rang me back so she's just sort of given me some advice for pain relief and some things that i can do to help the pain and then i will just have to ring the dentist on monday so i'm going to take my ibuprofen now but Louis is out with the dog it's a little bit of a later start than i would have liked just because i've been moping around um but two seconds i'm going to take these tablets so Louis actually got loads done last night he was moving furniture and boxes and stuff at like half past nine um so i'll show you the second bedroom well i'll show you all of the bedrooms upstairs and what we're working on today um i've just put a load of washing outside we've managed to do like a little sort of makeshift washing line for now on the fence there and then up to the wall so that we can actually hang some washing out we've got loads of washing to get through so i'm gonna go and i think pop another wash load on and then louis he's just out with the dog so then when he gets back we can make a start so i will show you what this room is looking like now there is still like bits on the floor but it's just lots of little um things <laughs> so this is the second bedroom obviously you saw this last night full of stuff so he actually managed to move loads of it um quite quickly he wasn't doing it for hours or anything but i think oh yeah <laughs> so it's pretty much all piled in here which is good really because obviously this is the smallest room and we've hardly used this room for anything so i'd rather have use of this room and then we've just got just the same bits of like our clothes in our bedroom for now so i think i'll stick another wash load on and then i'll clear some of these bits because i think quite a lot of it is mine anyway <laughs> so i'll clear those bits and then we can get to pulling up the carpet and getting the ceiling tiles off and we can get the day bed up and stuff which will be really really nice um to just yeah ha actually have access to this room like i haven't stood in this room since not even since we moved in to be honest because this was the room that everything was dumped into because it's the biggest room and all we were using it for was storage initially so things literally were just dumped in here on the day that we were moving in and yeah since then i haven't really properly seen this room empty so it's a good size room but yeah it'll be nice to make use of it so i think that is my plan for now i'll go and stick a wash load on first before i forget <laughs> So, last room of them all, ceiling tiles, three quarters, I'd say, are down. Neve's just tidying up. How are you feeling? Not very well, are you? No, I've got a bad tooth, but it feels better, a bit better now. Up all night, I've got to go to Asda and buy the pharmacy. <laughs> right. So, because I couldn't really be bothered moving them, we just, I've left all the ones around it. We're going to move the wardrobe over this side. Do that side, start sanding. 
and then get this horrible carpet up, see what newspaper we find. Mm -hmm. yes. There's only one carpet, isn't there? I haven't checked. I think there is, pull that. Have a check. Oh no. Oh, there is another carpet. Oh, there's green. Can we keep the green one? Green and red, is that Christmas carpet? Looks like a footy pitch. Is that carpet or underlay? Uh, oh. No, that's underlay, that's carpet. It's going to be another messy one, isn't it? Yeah. Blech. Looks mm. like, you know, when like you get a scab. <laughs> and then it's like the, the back end of the scab where you finally pick the last one off and you know that that's the last pick. I know you shouldn't pick scabs, but look. Yeah. Yeah, floorboards are looking decent. Very well built house. You just need to replace some of the squeaky floorboards. Always being bossy. Yeah, I will. Especially on the stairs in our bedroom. Yeah, it costs money to go and well, buy the wood. The wood. Yeah, wood's a fortune now. Yeah, but you don't need boards, do you? Well, a couple of lengths, have you? Every floorboard. Yeah, but you don't need boards, do you? Well, a couple of lengths, every, every floorboard squeaking in there. But yeah. Another trip to the skip, I think, along with another ongoing job. Little hole back there. So finally got the stumps out. Which has gained about two metres of the garden. I'm just that to get rid of, but I have got a chainsaw. That'll make them a lot smaller. Ready to go in the car, and then we'll get all the carpet to the skip. So most of the ceiling tiles are off now. Louis just sanding the ceiling, that's what you can hear. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Need to do this side though and move the furniture. I'll get this off it, Rob. I'll have to wet. Just like Old cars and that, can't own cars. <laughs> what are you doing? I am marking where the sockets are going to go. And then chasing the walls like they've done here for the lights. But will it go downwards that you're chasing the wall? Yeah, so it'll come. Yeah. Uh... And then, because at the moment all we've got is this double socket here, which was it a double socket or did you change it for? No, a single. It was a double socket, yeah. Oh, it was a double, but Louis changed the actual socket. So I think we're going to put another double one down here and then two here just to cover all eventualities for this room. We keep trying to think into the future, don't we? Yeah. About what we're going to do with each room and where to put plug sockets. Because we couldn't decide whether to put one on the wall for a TV, but then we're going to have to know which wall the TV would go on, and we obviously don't actually know what this bedroom will be in however many years. So we're just going to do the lower plug sockets for now, I think. Because Neve is indecisive. Well, I'm not indecisive, but I, how do I know what we're going to be doing with this room in yeah, however pitch, many years? But I don't want that. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to have to plan the room around having a picture to cover a plug socket that won't ever be used. <laughs> but I'd probably put it on this wall. So I'd say that a bed would go on this wall. Personally. But I feel like you're thinking the opposite wall, so then... I was thinking if you put the bed there, there's a double bed and at least one or two bedside tables can fit in there. So then... If the bed comes to say like here even, you've got like 
all that space to do something else with. But then if the bed's here, you've got the door there, so you can't. Use yeah, it. but I don't. I just feel like you'd walk into the room. This would be wardrobes. You've got more wall here. Obviously, the bed can be pushed over a little bit, so you can have bedside table, bed, bedside table, space down here to obviously access the wardrobes because this will be a whole wall of built-in wardrobes, and then opposite your bed in this little section here you'd have like some drawers or something and then a tv above so then you're not walking into the room and everything being like behind the door here i'd rather walk in and like the bed and stuff be in front of you well you're the designer so do whatever. we might have a child that's very decisive on what they want I hope so. I say no, mummy and daddy. I want my bed to be here. I hope so. <laughs> It'd be a nice change, wouldn't it? To what? You. Can you tell me what you want for tea? Seven o'clock. We've just had a takeaway, which was actually really, really nice. Louis has gone back upstairs and is working away. If you can hear the Hoover going, bless him. He's still chiselling out walls and stuff for the rewire. Nelson wants to go on a walk, and I have got myself curled up on the sofa with chocolate and more chocolate. Louis already been in at both of them but I'm knackered. I didn't get that much decent sleep last night because of my tooth. So yeah I'm just gonna eat some chocolate. <laughs> and get myself cozied up I think I think I've done my bit for today and then we'll be able to do a little bit more tomorrow afternoon hopefully um, so yeah I will I'll show you what Louis ends up getting done a bit later on tonight if I'm not asleep So, I might have fallen asleep early last night, but you carried on, didn't you? Yes. So what did you? What have you done so far? Chelsea and tiles are off. Um, oh, I need to change the battery in here. Back part of the ceiling tiles out. Uh, sanded it. Well, this morning I've sanded it. So all the ceiling sanded. Yeah. Um, put the two so well, three extra sockets in. Yeah, so there's another one over there, isn't there? Yeah. Oh yeah, and that. Oh, so you did that one. Yeah. I did mark on that one just in case, but not Yeah, because some of it fell off the bath when I was hammering like. <laughs> so we've got two on this wall, and then two on that wall. So we need to tidy up all of this yeah, mess. Take that light off. Take the light off, then then pull the carpet up, yeah. then the floorboards. Floor Nip round gums for some free cable, and then get the floorboards up, pull the cables in here, ready for that one to be linked, no sorry, leaving one there to replace that cable. It's freezing. And leaving one there, ready for the link to go from there to at the main bedroom. And then that one will go into there. And then once it's into there, when the new cables come in, it'll probably go to one on the landing. Right, so then... Oh, this is These are dangerous, these windows. The wind just, like, takes them. 
Well, I'm telling you, you can have it open. Right, okay. And then this room will, like, once... Then we can put, we've got down. some new carpet downstairs in the garage, like just an offcut to go in here, same as we did in our bedroom and downstairs. Then mm -hmm. the day bed needs to go up. And we start putting stuff up because the next time we need anything lifting up is when we do downstairs lights. So that'll be Yeah, up. but we'll be able to sort of pull the carpet yeah. up and we won't actually have to take all the furniture out of the rooms. No, no. But we need this, like this is my dressing table, so we need this room functional by tonight. You better not go to sleep then. I've got tea coming around off the Debo. <laughs> Debora. Beef dinner. <laughs> Slow cooked beef. Right, I'll go and take some paracetamol. So, I've got that coming at five o'clock, but Neva's going to be the cleaner and clean all this up because yeah. she was slapping last night. I'm poorly. You know, you're too thick. Yeah, that makes you poorly. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. And then temperature we're going to put the bed up. If we manage to get everything out of there, that other room. What other room? The little room. The little room. If we can get like it so there's hardly out in, might even put the desk up in there and the carpet down in there because that one's ready. That one's all the cables good. in, that one's good to go. Sounds good. changed because doing this in jeans is not ideal.
on. It's been probably about a week since I last spoke to you. So we, Libby was still work. Oh, Libby was still working on this room last Sunday till like quite late on. But then obviously, as soon as it gets to like Monday, we're back at work all week and the nights just disappear and it's late by the time we've both finished work and taken the dog out and had something to eat and there's just not really much time to get anything done during the week. So, my hair's an absolute mess. So, um, yeah, that's why we always try and obviously dedicate weekends to doing certain jobs because it's now taken up a whole week and the house is completely upside down. It's an absolute mess. And it's just, obviously, it bothers me more and more when it lasts for this long. Um, this room that we're working on is where my dressing table is and where I would usually come to get ready in the morning, do my hair and makeup. And I've obviously not had that. So it just affects every day during the week so it's now saturday morning and louis to be fair did loads last night as well when he got in from work um he was going till about half nine at least maybe he's even later so he has done all of the cables and like rewiring he's added plug sockets there there and one over there and then this one was already here so he's replaced some of the floorboards that he's had to pull up and yeah now i just need to tidy up and clean everywhere give everywhere a quick hoover get rid of all of the rubbish and i think then we're ready to just Get the off-cut of carpet out of the garage, unroll that, put that down and then just sort of get our furniture back in here which I'm actually really really excited about. Um, we've got a day bed that I don't actually know where I'm going to put stuff, let me think. Because I had my dressing table here just on this wall and then this wardrobe next to it up there. But that was literally just because that's where it was put when we moved and the rest of this room was full of so much other stuff that we didn't really have the option to like choose where we wanted things or move things around. This room has literally just been left since we moved in like, I don't know, has it been about four months? I think it's been about three and a half months that we've been in. So... But yeah, now that obviously we can properly do this room, it's not gonna, I'm not painting or anything. Um, I probably should have painted the ceiling. Yeah, I probably should have painted the ceiling while this room is empty. Oh, maybe I should paint the ceiling. I could paint the ceiling and make that look a little bit better, but I'm not painting the walls or anything at the moment. And we've got like, a little strip of um wallpaper right around the edges this one's like pink this was where the coving was so they had like polystyrene coving in all of the rooms um so i don't really know whether there's any point in me bothering to paint i could just paint the ceiling whenever i paint this room at some point obviously everything is still very temporary so yeah i'm gonna tidy this up now clean everywhere and then um when louis gets back from a walk with the dog of course then we can start to get stuff put in its place by the way ignore the color of my hands compared to my face i've literally just woken up and i haven't washed my fake tan off yet i haven't been in the shower i'm not even gonna bother until i've finished doing this room because i'm just gonna get messy and dusty anyway <laughs> that doesn't look great but yeah just ignore that
we finally made a little bit of progress in this room. We thought we'd lost all of the screws and bits to put the day bed back together. So that sat for about two days just in bits and we thought that we were going to have to buy all new screws and stuff but Louis found them last night so he spent ages putting this day bed back up late last night so I'm happy that this is all looking a little bit better we've got washing everywhere and still bits that need sorting that windowsill needs sorting there's all sorts on there and my dressing table needs a big sort out as well but I'm actually off for the next couple of weeks now so I'll definitely be getting everywhere organised. The only thing that we've got left, this is the third bedroom, which is still looking a bit of a nightmare, but we've got, oh dear. We've got a chest of drawers here, which was gonna go in that other bedroom that I've just showed you, but I don't know whether it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze. We've not got much wall space left for them to go on. So they could potentially stay in this room because this room will probably only have my desk in and it'll be used for storage as well. Obviously, this is all just stuff that we're going to have to store somewhere. So, yeah, we can figure out what's going to go where. But for now, this is just so much better we've got so much space as well so much floor space it seems like a little bit of a waste but obviously there's nothing that we can put like in the center of the room so i'm gonna leave this video there i really hope you've enjoyed watching us strip this bedroom the final room for us to strip so that's the last of the ceiling tiles we've said goodbye to all of the ceiling tiles and most of the carpet we've still got the red carpet in the hallway and up the stairs and on the landing but i feel like i might just leave that for now because it's quite good obviously we just we always have shoes on or slippers on in the house if anybody comes in the house i tell them to leave the shoes on because you wouldn't want to walk around this house without shoes or slippers but it's just quite good for obviously like when we're traipsing in and out and the dog's being out if he's mucky the red carpet is actually quite forgiving so i might just leave that as is for now um because if i pull it up and it's just the floorboards and there's people in and out in like muddy shoes and stuff i just feel like the floorboards are harder to like keep clean anyway i'm gonna leave this video here and the next video will probably be just a little bit more relaxed more sort of organization i'm gonna sort my dressing table sort this room out sort as much of the little bedroom as i can and we might be able to get my desk up in the third bedroom so if we do then obviously i will show you that but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>